Well, the new series, Aaron and Aaron, follows two kids who share a passion for music. And after their parents get married, they also share a family, including Aaron's mom, Sylvia, played by Larissa Olenek, who really hopes that they strike a chord. Take a look. We thought, since you've been so great about all these changes, you deserved your own funky jam pad! <laughs> yeah, we're not calling it that. <laughs> but this room is awesome! RuPaul! Erin, you want in on this? I do not. <laughs> We're just hoping music brings you two together so you become the greatest siblings in the universe and have a really intricate secret handshake. I'm and reel it back in, Sylvia. I'm just so excited about this new family. <laughs> And we are so excited that Larissa is with us now. Welcome, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Listen, so this just premiered. How does yeah. it feel now that it's out in the universe? Yeah, you know, I am so excited about this new family. <laughs> that actually was it wasn't one of just for play. You're no, actually that was really actually excited. one of the scenes that we did for the audition. And honestly, like every time I said that line, especially when we started doing chemistry reads, yeah. I was like, I am though. I'm so excited about all of you. I so yes, it. I'm excited to share my new family with everyone. We know that we have something really special, but it feels great to sort of have it out in the world yeah. now and get that feedback. Yeah, and music is at the core of this show, too. So do you listen to any music when you're getting ready? Like, how do you get into character? Um, I, well, my dressing room is next door to the kids' school, so usually I walk in and I turn a sound machine on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't really listen to music to get into character, although occasionally I'll want to bop around to yeah. some stuff. Because it know, puts you in a good mood. Yeah, and I know yeah. the kids it's like Ava really loves, um, oh, I don't want to mess it up, Blackpink, I believe is a K-pop band. No idea. And Jensen really loves John Mayer and Frank Ocean. So I, I like, I've tried to familiarize myself with their musical tastes, just That's as a good nice. mother would. That's what moms do. We <laughs> sacrifice like, for our kids. Yes, I'm hip to the Coachella as well. <laughs> the Coachella. <laughs> well, listen, your character, Sylvia, though, she might not know about the Coachella, but she knows about crafts. Yes. So she runs an online crafting yes. store. Are you do you consider yourself a crafty person? No. <laughs> I am I am much more likely to be the person who glues their fingers together. <laughs> but I'll support. Actually, no. One day on set, we did do, like, a tie-dye. After we were done with rehearsal and done with run-through, like, one of the rewards was that we did, like, a tie-dye with all of the kids. And oh, that was that's fun. But that was definitely, like, foolproof tie-dye. Like. Right. Like, you, like, like it just you're just adding more character to it. Sure. The more you screw it sure. up. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. Character. That's what, that's what I go with when I mess yeah, things yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but listen, so this you've been on another, obviously, on another Nickelodeon show yes. before. Um, it, and so The Secret World of Alex Mack. Yes. This is kind of like coming full circle, right? Like, what, was yeah. it, what, what did it feel like to come back to this world of Nickelodeon for you? Um, you know, it wasn't planned. It just kind of happened. It was just an audition like anything else. And I just knew that I really responded to the material and to the character. And then it kind of dawned on me later, like, oh, this, I'm going back to Nickelodeon after yeah. 25 years. Oh, my gosh. Um, and so How it cool feels, is that, it's though? It's so cool. It feels yeah. really special. And the things, there are a lot of things that are still very much the same, just like the bright colors and keeping it super positive. And I love that. So I was just going to say, too, like 90s fashion is coming back. Like, is there anything, like, does this bring you back when you do the show? And, and is there anything you want to come back that you uh -huh. haven't seen yet? Um, well, if you're me, 90s fashion never went out of style. That's right. Me, too. <laughs> me, too. Actually, Celia, one of the, she plays Vivian on the show. She's 16. I remember one of our very first days of rehearsal. She was like, I love your outfit. So 90s. And I was like, yes, totally intentional. Not just, <laughs> not just what I've been wearing for the last 25 years. Yeah, um, yeah it's all back. I'm into all of it. Uh, You're like, oh, that's that's me. I'm just, I'm really trendy. Yeah, <laughs> super, know. super trendy. <laughs> um, the one thing from Alex Mack, though, that did, has not made a comeback is that we had hats, like baseball hats that had no bill that I wore backwards. Not that one, but there's there's another one that was like a no fear hat that didn't have a bill. So. Are we happy that's not coming back? I mean, I have one still. Uh, I, could, I, could test, could. I could test it out. Test I could it out, test see it what out the on, kids the, on the teenagers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But ten <laughs> see things, if I could wear it to the Coachella. The, yes. <laughs> ten things I hate about you, too. It was such a huge hit. Yeah. Um, anything that, that kind of fans love it, do, anything that come, that will take you right back to that time? Because it seems like the cast always talks so fondly about that experience. Yeah, that was it was really, really, really special. Um, it was important to all of us, I think, uh, 
to bond yeah. and we had the time to. We were all kids. staying at a hotel. Yeah, yeah I mean, teenagers. Um, yes, kids. I know it's somebody. I referred to the kids on the show as kids, and I'm like, they're teenagers. I know. <laughs> I know. They're almost adults. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we have such a special connection, all of us. And I actually just road tripped back to Seattle recently and kind of let myself be washed over. I with love like, that. Oh, right. I remember this picnic bench. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really positive time for, for all of us. Oh, I love that. And this will be to these new experiences yeah, with hopefully. this new show. And you can catch new episodes of Aaron and Aaron every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on Nickelodeon. Larissa, thank you so much. Thank Good you to so see much. you.